Hey everyone, this is Aliana. I wanted to make a quick channel announcement. Uh, those of you who are on the Mojo newsletters, you already know. But if you're not, I'll put the link in the description so that next time, uh, you know, if you want to be uh, in the loop about these things, you can you can hear about it. Three weeks ago, I just realized I was really tired, frustrated, and uninspired, really, really, really uninspired with my own content and with other creators' content. I was just bored. Like, I've outgrown the kind of content I was creating. I've outgrown the stage I was in. But I continued to create because there was this need to be consistent. And what I realized in this time off, in these three weeks, uh, was that I don't really care about publishing every week. When I think about my favorite creators, forget about content. When I think about my favorite creators in general, let's say somebody is creating music or creating movies or creating anything, really, I don't appreciate them because they create every year or they create every week. I appreciate them and their work because they create stuff that's relevant to me, stuff that I feel is either educating me or entertaining me or inspiring me or helping me in some way or I can see how much work they had to do in order to deliver that final product. I'm just more excited about creating good stuff, quality stuff, and I'm thinking very, very, very long term. I'm thinking not just years and decades, I'm thinking after I die, I know this stuff is gonna, it's gonna be here for a very long time. I think, and how many people see it and what they think about it and how they react to it and what they get out of it or that sort of thing. That doesn't just happen when you publish it and, and the few days after. For me, it's not about feeding the algorithm what the algorithm wants the first few days. Like give it something that people will wanna click on and watch and whatnot, that's nice. But you know, it's gonna continue accumulating watches, it's gonna continue accumulating attention over decades and you know many 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 years and those things compound so i want to create things that last i want to create things with value that last i want it to be valuable today i want it to be valuable in a year in 10 years in 100 years in fact i want it to be more valuable as time goes on because what i realize now is i am investing in my own ideas i'm taking ideas that people may not think are valuable and I'm doing the work of revealing the value or holding on to it and investing into it until the market understands the value of the thing and then it's being released. So this is my work. My work is to invest in ideas. It's not to create a fucking video every Saturday because that's what... It made sense at some point. It made sense at some point to do that because you know, I needed the consistency in order to get started and in order to stop being afraid of being in front of a camera. The thing is, the nerve will never go. Like, I will always be, there will always be that resistance, right? When you try to create, when you are when you sit down to write or to make a video, there will, this is the only note I have, <laughs> quality over consistency, so it's pretty useless. <laughs> I do want to continue being consistent you know, I do want to continue aiming for releasing something on a specific day. It's likely going to be Saturdays, as usual. But just know that it may not come out on Saturdays. It may be Sunday, it may be Monday, it may be Tuesday. Which is another reason that it makes more sense for you to go to the Mojo. Again, I'll put the link in the description. And then you'll be notified when there's something new. The other thing is, it's more important for me to, like I said, create things that I deem are of high value. And that means stuff that requires more time and energy and input for me to create. Right now I'm working on something that's been taking me four weeks to create, just like processing all the thoughts around this one topic. I'm not thinking about how can I quickly create a piece of content that I can push out. I'm thinking about creating a few things that I'm very, 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 very proud of and very happy with. My goal is to continue working on this probably for the rest of my life, just continue gaining the skill or or practicing the skill of getting better at, at creation. So again, I do want to be consistent, but it's not my highest priority. Also, one of the things that I've learned is that I want to take time off regularly. So I do want to take time off uh, once every nine weeks for now, and it might become once every five weeks, I'll take a week off content creation. It's just 
that's just the way it works, right? Like we work in seasons, like nature, like athletes, like that's just how we work. So I do need those intervals. I want to have a lot more fun. That is crucial. So it's not just about creating things that I think are very high quality. It's actually crucial for me to have fun, not just with the process itself, but also with exploring the different ways that I want to create. So that's the announcement, I guess. If you see me disappear for like one week, I don't post or something. Don't worry, I'm probably cooking something really, really good. And I do expect that views are probably gonna go down. I expect that subscriptions or growth is gonna be very, very slow. But again, I'm not optimizing for that. I'm playing a very, very, very long game. So, all right, thanks for watching. Talk to you soon, bye.